Hello guys. In this video, we are going to discuss about virtualization fundamentals. Like what are virtual machines? Okay. So virtualization is the process in which we can use multiple operating systems at one time. And the virtual machine is same as like a software in which you can run multiple operating system at one time. So for virtual machine installation, you can use so many software. We have so many software that are used nowadays. So we have VMware in which we can install multiple operating system. We can use virtual box some virtual boxes are from open and some belongs to oracle virtual box so we have so many virtual machines are there so in this video i am going to configure one virtual machine and first of all i need to install virtual box or vmware so i already have set up in this setup i am going to click on vmware workstation this is my old version like it is already cracked so i have to click on this this is vm workstations 8 so it is going to install like first of all you need to go for next and like you want to use typical or custom here like typical program feature will be installed so i am clicking on typical so if you want to check the update then you can click on this otherwise you can untick this and after that, if you want to improve your workstations, then you can click on this. So next, if you want to create shortcuts on desktop and start menu, then you can use this. Okay, let's continue this. Okay. So now it is going to install. In this VMware, uh, we can install multiple operating system as I have told you before. And we can install Windows 7, Windows 10, Linux, Kali Linux, any operating system that you need, you can install in this VMware works, Virtual Box or VMware Stations. Okay, so the package is uh, installing because it is used for some requested operations. Okay, so it is installing. So it is taking some time because we have so many backend files. So this may take several minutes to install. It will install some tools. It will install some data backups. There are so many packages like they have to set up for Windows operating system, Linux operating system, Mac operating system also. So that's why it is taking some time. So we have to wait for some time. And uh, after installing and con configuring all the things in VMware, we can uh, install any operating system in this. Okay, so setup wizard is complete. It is finished. Now, I have to check. There we have one key. If you have cracked version, like paid version, you can click on this. And now you have to check that your VMware is installed or not. So it is installed now it is going to open yes already i have installed windows 7 machine in this okay so if you want to install a new virtual machine then we have to start from scratch click on create a new virtual machine typical now if you want to install windows 7 64 bit then you have to click on 64 otherwise you can click on 32 if you have another operating system, then you can also install this. So I'm just taking an example of Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit. Next, okay, so uh, in this portion, you have to uh, give the product key. If you don't have product key, don't worry. After that, you can uh, update it. So full name you have to give X, Y, Z, anything you want to give. If you want to give the password, then you can give password there. Next. Click on this. Now this it will take some time. It will make the directory. You can change the preference also. You can change the bits also. If you want to customize hardware, then in this memory, processors, uh, network adapter, USB controller, then you can add or remove the functions. Like for example, you want to uh, uh, 
uh, run the internet on this so by default it is clicked on NAT used to share the host IP address but if you click on bridge then you are used uh, you can use the internet direct from your main PC okay so for this time I'm remaining it same finish so my VMware is installed and now my operating system is also going to install so after installing this operating system your windows 7 will be there so it will take some time so that's why i already have installed the window okay so you have to click on file open and where your vmware is installed virtual machine so you can click on this and click on this so you can open this and you can click on this you can resume this you can set the meeting settings or anything else so this is all about the windows 7 so already my setup is starting because it will take at least 20 to 30 minutes to complete so after completing this it will take uh, it will be installed like my original windows 10 windows 7 is using so this is the part of virtual machine okay so i already have installed so this is all about virtual machine instead of vmware you can also use virtualbox or any other software thank you so much